Well, guys, I might have spoken into existence, but now <coughs> here goes the truck. <coughs> they came, got me with the GPS at Walmart, man. But uh, anyway, they were cool about it. So now I got like 30 days to come get my stuff out of the truck, and I don't know. I'm over here at Walmart. So I don't really know what I'm going to do right now. All right, y'all. It's been such, 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 such a busy week. I'm trying to see what I am what I need to grab out of here. I've been looking at Facebook Marketplace so much. I know every van that's around here in the 250 mile radius and what's wrong with each one. Just to give you all an update. And right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm, what I'm missing. Oh, it's outside. So we're about to head. I'm in Wilmot, Arkansas right now. We're heading to right outside Dallas, Texas. They got a van over there. Now I'm about to be driving, so I'm pretty much about to wrap the camera up right here. Just want to kind of give you all an update because I haven't shot anything this entire week. And it's because I've just been on the move. I've been uh, you know, helping around, helping out around here, do like little errands and stuff, look up vans. So I'm getting on the road now. And then yeah, so I guess I'll just see y'all over there. Alright, y'all. So we're officially seven minutes away, six miles. And it just feel like it's been such a long trip over here. It's been so straight and boring. But we're over here outside of Dallas. And I don't even know how to pronounce the area we're in, but we're almost there. Pink trash can. Oh, there we go. Left side of the gate next to the pink trash can. Uh-oh. There it goes back there. All right, we're pulling up. All right, we just went for a little test drive. I want to get over here and kind of, like, you know, get acquainted before I just pulled out a camera. I'm about to show you all a little quick view of the van. We'll go hit the parts store and see if we can fix one of the headlights. And then from there, <coughs> we'll try to head up north overnight, baby. Y'all right, check it out. He just loaded the tires up. We got all the insulation. Uh, uh, I can't even think of the word for that right now, but... Either way, it's all insulated on the inside. Uh, I'll probably do something with this carpet, but the ground's insulated too. Got a little bit of stuff in here. And about to, like I said, we're about to head out to the parts store, see if we could do something about this headlight. Because this one turns on, but you know, this one, I got some headlights for it, but they didn't turn on when we plugged them in. So he said they're going to go up there me my boy sebastian and he's gonna go up there and see if we can get the headlight rolling and that's it we're on that road I'm out here with my boy eric and man <laughs> we're trying to rig up the light right here because the wires wasn't working and i got the headlights so now we bought a flashlight look check us out this new headlight y'all see it ozark trail we in there <laughs> all right now we got this one this one works and that's it look my battery's almost dead y'all <clears throat> we done got it rigged up this is gonna carry us through the night and then tomorrow, you're gonna have to worry about getting tags or in the next couple of days for sure, because there's no tags. And we back in action, baby. I don't know how well I can see, but right now it's 5.56 a.m. And Saturday, so the Saturday right after Good Friday. And we have literally 15 minutes to go. We're gonna be there at 6.11. And talk about cutting it close, son. <laughs> Because uh, I think Cook and Cajun is going to be starting to set up around 8 a.m. I really hope y'all can see me. I'm not really sure if you can or not, but if not, it'll be all right. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much about to go to my boy Chris's house. I'm going to shower over there, throw my other outfit in a wash, and then change over into that. And then I'll probably go straight over to the event, starting to get set up and everything. So it's just going to be a super long day. <laughs> you want to check this thing out, bro? What? Hold on. It's a trick to get out. I guess I'll turn it off. All right, hold on. This is my. All right, this is how we. All right, turn that. Push it in. Okay, okay. Hot wire action going That's okay. Sawed it. Sawed it. All right, hold on. Let me turn my music off. All right, nobody's really saw this thing for real, oh, really? but 
it's got it's got some uh it's got some tender love and care necessary yeah, it's needed it's needed a couple things good work now but I like it bro like when I pulled I pulled over for a second because I need to pee and then like the battery killed so I just popped the hood and like wiggled the hot wire and then we're back in action <laughs> now nah, but look come over here <clears throat> y'all see my headlight just hanging in the home yeah look I put it took like six double A's didn't change them at all and it's still rolling strong so this one's a manual all right, I ain't checking out over here, buddy. That's not smell. Something burns. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get in? Cool. You want to get in, dude? Yeah, man. You might not be able to get out. This is where all the love happens, bro. Yeah, we got like 18 tires in there, backups. One, two, three, four, five. Like so many tires. Six, seven. And the passenger seat. You just get tired of having tires or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whole, you take the, the where you want to put the extra tires at? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> not just for now. Uh, so you can get in and get cozy. Uh, shit, I'm in the yard again. Let me see. Does this open? Oh. Does that. Alright, cool. No, that, that, that's pretty much mounted. <laughs> you want to get in there, buddy? You ready? God dang, dude. <laughs> I need some interior lights. <laughs> 6 a.m. Yeah, sit down on that one, bro. Is this, is this That's the one I sat in when we did the test drive. Is this going to be the gaming chair? No, it's cozy, bro. Yeah. See, look, when you look back, it's like, dang. Where all that room come from? God. I know, dang. bro. I know. <laughs> they put so much in there. Oh, oh. I'm not going to die, right? I'm good. I'm safe. It's okay. All right, dude. It's all gonna be fine. Look, it takes a little for Daigle. All right, slow down. This is it. So oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. So it just started making a new noise. So we're under here investigating. But it looks like it might be a. It's just a noise. Like it doesn't sound like anything alarming. But I think it's from this, I think it's from that wheel right there, just a bad wheel. We'll find out eventually. <laughs> Test drive. This thing is so spacious and cozy. <laughs> I love this. There's so much room in here compared to the truck. And guess what? Hey, Chris, what's the best part about this van, dude? There's two best things about it. Or there's a couple best things about it. What do you think it is? You don't know? The engine and the transmission. Well, those are two good things. They're running like a house. But the best things about this van is one, it's paid off. And the title's right over there underneath my AirPods. Two, I'm about to insure it literally this morning. So we're gonna be riding legal. Yeah, when they pull us over, we all good. It's getting registered. We got insurance. We're going to have insurance. We're going to have the good, um, what is it? Is it collateral? Whichever one gives you the roadside assistance, we're going to have the hook up. So, yeah, we're going to have paid off truck so they can't repo us or van. Insured, plate on the back, everything how it's supposed to be. I mean, it don't get no better than that. And with all this new space to play around with. Look at all that room. Now, last time I was over here, my boy Chris was living in a different spot. So they officially bought their house. And look, by the way, y'all, uh, for the people that order stuff on Amazon, this right here is the battery booster. So this, let me the battery. If ever we're in a situation where the battery's dead, we need a boost in the middle of nowhere. Oh, what else we got in here? Um, what's this? Oh, these are the toilet bags. Ah! 
I was praying that wasn't boxers. All right. Hey, these are the toilet bags. What else we got? It looks like it came with a cute little baggie for them. That's nice. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, the cutting board. Boom. I don't know how the lighting is, but... So, for whoever ordered those items, man, thank y'all so much. Um, definitely gonna need them now. Like, more now than then, too. <laughs> but, let's see. Oh, and this. I left my, uh, my hygiene bag in Albuquerque. So, they mailed it back to me. So, finally, I'm gonna have all my hygiene stuff back. Like, the right stuff. So... Let me get that open and go hop in that shower. All right, y'all, we out here. We just now kind of getting started. <coughs> People just now starting to show up. Got my boy John on that jambalaya. Yes, sir. I ain't lying. I'm, yeah, he don't even know it, but I'm getting a few of them, uh, his seasonings. Yeah, his seasoning goes hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yup. Boy, cook it with Cajun. Hey. Ay, ay, ya. Nah, yeah, just been hanging out though. Kind of chilling. Been tired. Alright, so yesterday. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so yesterday we was at the event. I really didn't record much. And I was super tired. One, so I was trying to hang in there. So got some crawfish, some shrimp, some crab. Now we came back. I'm waiting on my boy Chris to back up. Ah! <laughs> We're trying to go catch us some walleye, which is like the some tournament fish. I don't know if that's everywhere or just around here. But I'm about to go hop on the boat, make up for last time, and see if we can catch us some fish. I'm going to give you all this drive-by sexy shoot angle from the van. Oh, yeah, she's looking pristine. And guess what? You know the best thing about that back door being white with blue spray paint? I ain't never got look too hard to find it. <laughs> nah, the van. Man, I love the van. We're gonna do a more in-depth tour. I put the tires out because it came like seven, six or seven tires. So try to get it cleaned up a little bit and do a little van tour. And I'll go over probably the stuff I want to fix. Dang. Ah! Bro, so loud. <laughs> Now we're back to the ranger. And then he said, we're probably not gonna catch anything because it's a hard lake to catch fish on. I was like, well, bro, let's go fish where we can catch something. But he's like, no, I don't fish to catch fish. I fish to miss. So I, <laughs> but where you say the fish were at? In the water? What's the code? Drop a low girl, drop a drop a low girl. Oh, come on. You gotta unhook the hippie. The hippie hop. Oh. We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> Snacking, bro. Already. What you got? Regular cheese? French Montgomery cheese. See why married men got boats. Huh? <laughs> married on a boat. I, I see why married men have boats. I don't know. <laughs> this is how you clean out Vienna sausage canes when you don't want too much juice in them. Step one, open. Step two, peel back just a little bit. Step three, at your nearest lake, it's your like bacteria. All right, y'all, so much has happened since I recorded when we were out fishing. Matter of fact, here's the GoPro right here. And right now, 
We are in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It is Walmart. I just came pick up this other GoPro from somebody out here. I was in Tulsa. Whole bunch just happened, but we'll catch up. But on the way here, we happened to drop our muffin. So y'all see that? Anyway, no big deal. Everything's running fine. The van still. As far as the motor transmission, the stuff that actually matters. The uh, suspension is actually pretty good for the 93. And now everything's been good. It's been so much has been going on. <laughs> and I wish I could have recorded more. I ended up cooking like some nice smothered pork chops and stuff, but I didn't have my camera. And I was really kind of scared to record my phone and then try to transfer everything over to the computer. We got a futon in here. This is the last thing that happened. I don't even know if y'all can see this, the way the lighting is. But uh, right before I left Arkansas, my boy Chris gave me the futon, so we got the futon in here. And as far as that, that's about the only other, we also got a fishing pole. Everything's super messy right now. But uh, I'm about to head down to Houston and we're gonna do some customizing. I'm not going right now. I still gotta go get my stuff out the truck. And I was supposed to do that today, but my GoPro was still broke and I couldn't find a new one in time. And I didn't want to go to the reap, like get my stuff out of the truck until I was able to get back recording. Just because it's kind of like a monumental piece that I didn't want to miss. But other than that, the van's still running fine. This beauty is doing good. <coughs> still love the van. It's got like the best old school quirks or quirks whatever that you can really ask for i guess um we've been running strong i haven't even changed the batteries yet come on who got a manual light but me um other than that y'all uh i'm just at walmart for tonight out here in oklahoma uh vehicles registered title insurance all that good stuff we're on the road officially uh, legally and so yeah, I mean, that's a big deal for me. So, I'm about to crash out for the night, y'all. I just wanna let y'all know we're in OKC right now, and I just picked up this camera that I'm recording on. And, uh, that's it. So, good night, y'all. I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. All right, good morning, guys. We're out here, and still in the same place. Just got up over here. And I think uh, I'm going to head back to Tulsa. Go ahead and call them up and try to schedule getting my stuff out of the truck. Uh, the futon slept pretty great. <clears throat> like, this thing has been sleeping so good. Uh, anyway, so the last time, or the last little bit of footage, I was on the boat with my boy Chris, and it was this GoPro, and I forgot I had took this piece off right here so I could plug my mic and stuff into to kind of, like, make it a little vlogging setup. So I stuck it underwater trying to get, like, an underwater shot, and when I pulled it up, it was like, <laughs> that thing was flooded. So I was like, well, uh, the GoPro's down. The only thing that I really missed recording was I cooked over there and then I left and we loaded the futon up. <clears throat> and then I shot out over to Tulsa, Oklahoma where I was gonna pick my stuff up. But then I was like, man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna pick my stuff up and not record. Come here, let me shot it. Come out. locked in I don't even know what's happening oh, there we go uh. All right. that's what says so good in here dang let's get a couple of these and this will just get us on the road and get us to stop dragging around the muffler and voila just like that 
we're no longer scraping. So yeah, that'll take care of us for now. But man, I want to say it's good to be back. It's good to be back on this road. It's good to be back with the camera. I mean, whew, that's in my eye. Whew, so many good things, man. I'm just happy to be back. I'm happy in here. No truck note. I got insurance. We're registered. So much more space. Oh my gosh, so much more space. And it might look rough to a lot of people right now, but trust me, we're gonna have it looking decent. I'm not gonna do like an entire extensive uh, conversion on this. We're still gonna do plenty on here just to kind of get it rolling. And I'm gonna have what I want still. We're just gonna do a budget friendly option. Um, and But it don't matter. Honestly, if I had to roll like this, I'm good. It's just good, to, it's nice to be back on that road. And it's nice to have the camera to record again. I missed y'all. I ain't been able to talk to y'all for a couple days. So I think now, now that I'm up and moving, I'm about to head over to Tulsa and I'm gonna call them first. Go ahead and schedule a pickup and go get all my stuff today. And then after that, it'll be pretty packed in here. Like it's gonna be stuff all over. It's gonna look crazy, but that's all right. Got another pan of this bad man, Jamma. Oh, I'm telling you. She got some personality. Oh, I'm super happy. I'll tell you what, I'm way happier in here than in my Silverado. <laughs> I'm way happier. And it's just, I don't know. I'm about to show you all the little trick of how to fire this thing up. Forward, neutral, on, and then we go from reverse or drive, whichever one. I mean, you can do both now. But if you do it from park, well, this time it worked. It keeps working. Okay, normally. It keeps working now. Normally it doesn't go straight to reverse or drive or neutral. You gotta like finagle it, this little trick. But it wants to show off for y'all, so here it is. But time to get on that road, y'all. We're heading back to Tulsa, and I'm in such a great mood. Life is good. Woo! Gotta love it. Look at that old school dash. Look at that. <laughs> hey! Man, I love this thing. All right, y'all, so we're about 15 minutes away. Get the little GPS set up right here. Um, so we'll get there, I'll load everything up, and like I said, it's gonna be super packed back here. I got like a hanging wire. Anyway, it's gonna be super packed back there, but we're gonna just kind of make everything fit for now. And <clears throat> until we get to Houston, we'll just be struggling a little bit with space. But it's all right, because it's, it's just a short amount of time. So, yep, just got the Tulsa. Mr. Squeaky. How you doing? You're not allowed to put anything having to do with us recorded. Okay. Like. That's fine, yeah. Yeah. What you mean, like the yard? Like me getting my stuff out? Well, you're not gonna have access to the yard. And you're not allowed to say anything with our name in it or anything. I mean, I haven't yet. Like, y'all bring it to the front, right? Yeah, we bring it up. So, like, me transferring. Like, all of these units out here, you're not allowed to put any of it on okay, TV. Okay, I won't. All right. Well, For recording, go, like, I'm able to record like, me moving it? Like, if I'm just getting the two vehicles or no? So, she asked no, one of us so we don't want anything on, on the premises? Yes, correct. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just like <clears> reality. All right, yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay, great. I'll wait. Thank you, though. Thank you. I love you, too. Well... Seems like we can't record nothing. So I'll probably do like talking head right here. But uh, I'm gonna cut the camera and get all my stuff out. Meet the way guys, just got here. <coughs> they about to bring the truck up. I'm gonna get everything out of there, load it up in here, and then we'll be on by our business. This is it, y'all. Final swoop of everything. Trying to make sure I only get the truck in here. I mean, this thing is. <laughs> Ready? All right, well, I probably look crazy. It took me at least an hour to do all this. It was a lot of stuff to get. So I'm about to hop in here. I'm about to roll out. See it, y'all. Look, this is the end of an old chapter and the start of a new chapter. And. I'm already excited. <laughs> so y'all just hang in there with me and enjoy the ride. All right, guys, just like that, 
our plans have changed and that's kind of van life for you so now i'm leaving tulsa oklahoma i'm heading down to wilmot arkansas i'm going to drop off the bed cover to my boy logan i'm going to pick up a um uh, blackstone griddle that his mom gave me while i was over there and then the following day so far the plan is that i'm gonna be leaving from wilmot and start making my way down to houston and somewhere along the way i'm gonna catch a csl plasma and i think i kind of think that's it for now uh i'm not really 100 percent sure but yeah right now we're on the road and that's about it y'all <laughs> but i gotta say man i love this van i'm not lying i know i keep saying that but i'm so super excited and uh it just rides so good it's taking care of me so far it really feels like i got some life in it uh I got all the stuff out of my truck, so I got all my belongings back. I feel good about that. And yeah, such a vibe. Such a vibe in here. Man. Good morning. Yep. Good morning, ladies and gents. Uh, I just showered up and it's early in the morning. It's probably about almost 8 o'clock. Let's see. 759. Look, I've got one bar out here, or two bars right now. Uh, and it's not like a good two bars <clears throat> but i'm showing you that because for the first six days seven days after oklahoma this is where i was at over here and now my service is super bad over here <clears throat> and this is where i spent uh, a week of time looking for a van uh, i had so many deals like fall through you know just the facebook marketplace your bang so i was working on getting a van and this took me about a week until it finally worked out and then i finally ended up with this bad boy right here and me and my boy sebastian rode to dallas i picked it up and then we had to rig up the headlight and i shot out to mountain home arkansas which was about seven hours from dallas so it was the first trip that van ever took was seven hours from me going by it and the dude didn't really drive it a lot so that was kind of the backstory on that otherwise i would come out here to this little chair and i sit down and i would just sit here on marketplace and look these dogs about to run up because he always come attack my legs. I don't want to summon them. Anyway, I just took a shower, so I'm about to move around so they don't get me dirty. But, uh, yeah, I would sit there, and I would marketplace and look for vans all day. I'm telling you, within like a 250-mile radius, I could tell you every van that's in the area, what's wrong with it. And I was just super involved with trying to get a van. I wasn't shooting anything, recording anything. Uh, I'm just trying to let y'all know what was going on in the time span while I was here because this was... A lot of the time that it took up until I got this, I got this bad member, Gemma. But I mean, that's really about it, y'all. I came over here, I hung out. Um, apart from looking at vans, I mean, as y'all can see, this is the country, and anybody that knows anything about the country is that there's always stuff to do, there's always work to do, something to do. My boy Logan got his new, got him a new truck, uh, so we rode all the way down to Lafayette to pick that up. Uh, working on four wheelers. Um, little errands. You know, when you gotta run an errand, town's a lot farther, so it just takes longer to do stuff. After that, then I got to Mountain Home the same morning that that event was with Cooker with Cajun in Mountain Home, Arkansas. And by the time I got there, I don't even drink energy drinks, but I was slamming like sugar-free Red Bulls, Monsters. So by the time I got there, um, I hit him up and he was like, yeah, we'll be getting there at this time. And it was a couple hours later than I was uh, expecting. So I caught me like a two hour nap, three hour nap. Long story short, super tired. <clears throat> I was expecting everything to go a little differently, but I got to the event, hung out at the event. I didn't record much there, really just because so much going on and I was really just tired. So I kind of just relaxed and enjoyed it. I was at my boy Chris's house up in Mountain Home. Um, but we ended up going on a little boat trip and I broke my camera because I tried to get an underwater shot and I forgot that I took a piece of this GoPro off so I could hook the mic up, stuck it underwater. When I pulled it out, it was completely flooded. Didn't even realize that I took the, I forgot I took the piece off. So the GoPro was broke. <laughs> then from there, moving forward, uh, I left Mountain Home, ran to Tulsa because I was gonna have to go pick all my stuff up. And here's everything in the bag. Uh, where's this little, there we go super packed man super packed six wheels all this stuff the extra seat um so it's just i mean y'all can see it's to the roof or at least halfway up the cab in the middle and that's the shallow area i think for just for the sake of getting out a video and getting out an update and letting everybody know what's going on i'm gonna cut it right here even though i'm literally about to leave here 
go pick up uh, a little blackstone griddle from my boy logan's mom that's a gift from her and head to houston but make a stop in Shreveport because we're going to get, I'm going to stop at Bajorans, get some boudin, and then I'm going to donate plasma, shoot down to Houston, and then we're going to start working on all this. I'll take everything out, bring it inside my boy Eli's house, and then uh, we'll start kind of working on the inside. But I'm going to cut it here, and y'all kind of know what to expect for the next video. In the next few videos, we're going to be working on the inside of this and getting the road ready. So I paid twelve fifty for the van, ended up getting it on a deal. He posted it for $2,500, but we got it for twelve fifty. It cost me about 200 bucks to insure by like swap the title over everything all that good stuff and put insurance my insurance is now like 90 bucks a month 90 something bucks a month Whew. so we're good now now we're good i just got a phone bill insurance and gym membership that's my three bills a month so we're looking at a little over 200 bucks total grand total and then whatever we put in gas and food so major 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 improvement and for everybody that donated to the gofundme or contributed in any kind of way i just want to say that this is all possible because of your participation and <clears throat> i just make sure i do my job and make sure that we get some good content out of it but i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart it really meant a lot originally i was not planning on this being where we ended up i was just going to go back to work i was going to use money to pay for transportation traveling because i was stuck in the middle of tulsa and i was gonna head back down to the coast get some stuff for work because i didn't have anything and you, to work offshore you gotta have some gear and i was just gonna go out there for a couple months come back buy a van reconvert it for you know all budgeted and then hop back on the road so because of everybody that's watching everybody that contributed everybody that played a role all the positive support this is all possible and i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because man i feel like this is the i don't know it's just it's different it's different kind of having help in life you know and i don't know it just hits different so i just want to say i appreciate it because i don't know man i feel like i've done everything on my own all my life and this is the first time i've had help with something and it really does mean a lot so <coughs> regardless of what happens this is sentimental value and i just want to let y'all know that's where we're going to end it so if you made it to the end, thank you for watching. If you're new, welcome to the family. This big nugget and I'm out. I'm your Uber driver. Get in. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rapper back Mr. Magic Molly Mall.